Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. And what we have here is, of course, the, the, the hyenas, the chickens, the hens that are on the view, absolutely terrified about Sarah Palin running. See, I was even very excited when I heard the news that Sarah Palin was going to be running for a congressional seat. I'm like, eh. And then The View decided to go ahead and jump up there and start attacking her and, of course, start spreading lies about her once again, using the old lies from back in 2008, where uh, Saturday Night Live made a, a skit where it said that she could see Alaska from her house, which she has never, ever said. Uh, and it was made up. It was made up. It was fake news then. It is fake news now. But The View continues to spread it because they're terrified of somebody that is a... a pro-Trump Republican, an America first Republican, somebody that's willing to challenge the establishment. Again, I wasn't very excited about her saying that she was going to run, but now I'm like, hey, yeah, if she's already terrifying people from the view, they're already attacking her for a congressional seat. Yeah, it's time to go ahead and start uh, looking a little bit more into this and start uh, going ahead and, and and bring this to the attention of the normies out there. So uh, before we get going on today's story, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and of course, um, if this is your first time here, thank you for joining me, for allowing me to share this little bit of information with you. And if we can't, let's try to see if we can't get this video over 250 likes. That would be amazing. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into today's story coming to us via Red Voice Media. I'm go ahead and bring it up here. It says, The View caught spreading lies about Republican Sarah Palin. That's right. Of course, does it surprise you? On April 1st, Republican Sarah Palin announced that she would be placing a bid for a congressional seat in Alaska while Palin ran for vice president alongside McCain back in 2008. She has been rather silent for some time, but after Republicans representative Don Young died in March, after holding his congressional seat for 49 years, Palin has once again set her aim at DC. At the same time, the former president, uh, Donald Trump, has also endorsed Palin. That's right. Um, labeling her as a wonderful patriot and a true American first fighter, despite getting endorsements, the host of The View decided to mock the Republican by spreading misinformation. On Monday, the host of The View gathered around their uh, their table to discuss uh, the problems in America and how it's all due to the GOP and Trump. Adding her voice to the conversation, Whoopi Goldberg couldn't help but mock Palin. Look, at the, uh, look out, world. Sarah Palin just announced she's returning to politics. The former governor of Alaska plans to run for the congressional seat left vacant by the death of longtime Alaska congressional congressman uh, Don Young. Damn it, Don. And she's even picked up a official endorsement from guess who? Yeah, from the uh, from he who shall not be named on this show. It's so ridiculous how they sit there and they they act like a bunch of five-year-olds. Oh, we're not going to name him. Oh, yeah, his name's so evil. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're a bunch of, they're a bunch of uh, clucking uh, hens who have nothing better to do than run their mouths for the wine moms that live in suburbia who uh, think they pick up the causes for BLM and Antifa and all that stuff. And they're like, oh, yeah, look at my trans kid. It's just a baby, but it's trans. It's trans. I know it's trans. That's the, that's the view audience right there, right? So the co-host Sarah uh, Haynes added, uh, she was ahead of her time. When we look back, she was like a soundbite machine. And she said some interesting things. Another host laughed and said, I can see Russia from my house. The quick line was a jab at Palin, who they claim said that she could see Russia from her house. The truth, though, is that Palin never said that. It actually came from, of course, an SNL skit back in 2008. At the time, Palin discussed Russia with Charles Gibson of ABC News. She said, there are next door neighbors and you can actually see Russia from land here in Alaska from the from an island in Alaska. Although it was SNL, the host of The View continued to joke about the mishap. Uh, when it wasn't even Palin who said it. Yeah, these these uh, these uh, lying hens right here, uh, they're fat lying hens uh, who only appeal to the wine moms in suburbia who continue to uh, think that they uh, that they this is this is the whole reason that uh, I think uh, at this point uh, they should just go ahead and do away with the view. But I guess it's, it, they they can't do away with it because it, it appeals to the radical. Uh, feminization of of uh, uh, so many people across the country who watch this garbage, who watches The View. Uh, people like Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar and Anna Navarro and the rest of the uh, clucking hens. Uh, nobody has time to watch. Anybody that with a functional brain does not sit down and watch The View. Anybody that who wants to sit there and pretend to be outraged and then uh, cry like a baby, uh, we're not going to name uh, Trump's name on this show because he is uh, worse than Voldemort. Really? 
really, you're, you're a bunch of freaking adults. Act like it, right? Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you are you now excited to see Sarah Palin run for the congressional seat in Alaska? Or are you like, eh? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, including Odyssey and Gab, both linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and of course, leave a let's go, Brandon, and I'll talk to you guys real soon. Have a great, great day.